Welcome to the Towson University Reading Clinic, where we have games, books, iPads, and other resources to help struggling readers. Let's start by going back in time and learning a little bit about the history of the Reading Clinic. The Towson University Reading Clinic has um, been an important part of the College of Education um, for more than 40 years. Um, part of it, it, its primary focus um, over the last periods of time has been in the preparation of graduate level reading specialists. Um, what we now hope is to move it so that it's involved both with initial certification as well as advanced certification. Um, it seems critically important that students learning to become early childhood, elementary or secondary educators understand the roles of teaching spe of reading specialists and also understand um, the kinds of di diagnostic and remedial interventions um, that they can offer. Um, we expect that this expansion of the clinic's purpose in the college um, will in fact increase the number of our graduates who then choose um, to seek a graduate degree as a reading specialist in the future, but it also will add to a vastly more informed population of K-12 teachers um, in public education. Well, the graduate reading program has the reading clinic, which is outstanding, and now been in process for over 45 years. And one of the things that I've been impressed with is when I've come to observe watching the families connected to their clients and our grad students. So here's the combination that happens that I've seen before that I think is really dynamic. Is first we have a grad student who tutors one-on-one -on -one with a needy, usually younger student, elementary age student, who's just grappling with reading issues, comprehension issues. So to see our grad student work one-on-one -on -one with this young, struggling reader is really an outstanding process. And we have a situation where they work behind the glass so that the two of them are working one-on-one -on -one in a room and we as faculty can watch what's happening. We can instruct students who are in a more advanced reading clinic class about some of the processes and about some of the positive interactions that are occurring and also give feedback um, so that they as a mentor can give feedback uh, to the grad reading student who's helping this young struggling reader with issues. So we have all that happening in the reading clinic which we find to be a wonderful ongoing useful process not only to our graduate students but also to the young reading client. And then we have parents who are there for various literacy events to learn about how they can work with struggling readers, with their students, with their young children um, to become better readers. So parents find a lot of value to come to these sessions that our grad students put on in which they learn ideas about how to do some reading processes at home with their kids. So all that is very beneficial and really a nice, tight, practical process that helps both the client and the parent. And of course, our graduate students grow a great deal by doing these one-to-one -one work in the clinic with the struggling readers. So all those make for a powerful reading process that occurs in the graduate reading clinic. So I know that people should know about those processes. In addition, I want to talk a little about some of our recent accreditation pieces because as our College of Education went through an accreditation process, um, we needed to show proof of a range of indicators about how well we were doing on various elements. And one of the elements is diversity. And we found over the years that we bring in a very diverse client base uh, when we run the reading clinic, meaning that the students who are struggling readers, who come in to get help from our graduate students are often have very interesting diverse backgrounds, um, ethnicity, um, kind of some urban backgrounds, people who live in the general Towson area and the city, uh, they come with their families um, to improve their reading skills and abilities. And what we've learned from our NCATE evaluators is that that's one way we could show the diverse population that our graduate students reach in their programs by working with 
um, students from the surrounding areas who are struggling readers and in need of attention, and they get that attention from one of our grad students who gives them one-on-one -on -one help. So that's a real power of not only the reading clinic, but the work we do here in the College of Education at Towson University. So those are just some of the highlights that I could speak of off the cuff regarding the graduate reading clinic. The reading clinic actually began in 1968 under the direction of Dr. Kataska, and since then had several different clinic directors and grew to become an institution in the Baltimore region. Not only is the reading clinic important to the clients who come here, but the reading clinic is essential to the teachers in the Masters of, educa of Reading Education here at Towson. These are teachers who are becoming reading specialists. Around 2005, 2006, we decided to, to take our summer clinic off campus. Um, at that time, I was working with a school that was right off of York Road, so um, that seemed like a perfect school to start with. So it was Waverly Elementary School um, that was about 20 minutes from campus. So we actually had some grants from um, Bank of America and a couple other um, groups that actually were funding that summer clinic. And we were able to work with the kids in the school. We had we, we worked with them during summer school, and so we had the whole school available to us. Um, we actually did a morning um, reading clinic and an afternoon guided reading program. Um, and then the school gave them lunch in between, so that was really nice. And um, we were close enough to the campus that we actually had a bus a couple times where we brought the kids onto campus. We did all of our testing on campus. That way we could bring them in and we could do some testing with computers and we could do some um, testing in the, t in the small rooms um, rather than in the open rooms that we were using at the school. One of the things I remember most about that experience, the first time we did it, we brought the kids on campus. Um, we did some testing and then we had a campus tour done with them and they went all through the campus. We we're going back on the bus and it was interesting because most of these children, although they were only 20 minutes from campus, um, had never really been to a college or university campus. And one of the things the kids said on the bus to me was, it was just like the YMCA, but bigger. Next, we'll have teachers telling us what they want out of the reading clinic versus what they got out of the reading clinic. Hopefully they got what they wanted. So tell me, what would you like to get out of the reading clinic? Um, I would love to learn how to support clients of various ages and um, skill levels with different aspects of comprehension, phonics, phonemic awareness, really being able to help different types of students at different ages. I want the opportunity to work with a primary student because I'm often working with students who are in third, fourth, or fifth grade. So I want the opportunity to work with someone younger, um, and I'm fortunate to have that opportunity this year. Um, I hope with my reading clinic experience, I'm just more comfortable working with a variety of ages of students with different skills, and also becoming more comfortable on the one-on-one -on -one tutoring. To be able to um, enhance my skills of being a mentor and working with other people and supporting them. An environment where I can explore different approaches to creating an instruction, instructional plan that meets the literacy needs of a child or an adult. What in the world did they learn? We'll find out next. I do feel like I got a great deal out of Reading Clinic and I learned how to work with different age groups this year. So um, one of my experiences that I treasured in this Reading Clinic was the opportunity to um, mentor. This semester I think I developed uh, more confidence in giving presentations to parents. I had the opportunity to do something a little bit different than I was able to last time and that was be a mentor to a mentee and also to do the parent workshop. So I learned to adjust my teaching style to work with older students. As you can see, they learned about conducting parent workshops they had the opportunity to practice with the student out of their comfort zone, and they had an opportunity to mentor and coach teachers. Pretty good!
This is the clinic reading resource room, where as you can see, over the course of an evening, when there's a reading clinic, students come in, parents come in, teachers come in, and everybody gets an opportunity to check out books, iPads, and ask the, the grad assistants for assistance if necessary. We have behind the glass rooms where teachers can observe each other to then provide coaching and mentoring for each other. While behind the glass, at the beginning of the semester, teachers test the students to know areas that they need to build. Then they provide instruction using a variety of resources and methods and strategies. And at the end of the semester, they test students again to note gains. We'll be working on long vowel patterns and to practice those patterns we'll be playing a car racing game and he'll have to practice the words as he's racing around the track. One, two, three, four, five, lost. I lost the game. There, what dare you ask? Okay, so let's stop and think about what we just read. Do, was anything that you already knew, anything that was new, wow, or I don't understand? Whether they're reading chapter books, on the iPad, pop-up books, on the computer, or books about birds. Well, that would be me, really. It doesn't really matter because the key is that they need to individualize the instruction based on the needs of students. Let's find out what the parents think about the reading clinic. My name is Charles Fleming, and this is my son, Charles Edward Fleming II. And what I like out of this uh, reading program is for him to maximize whatever he can get out of reading so he can comprehend better. And uh, so that one day he can tell me, he can read a, a 300 page book one night and say, Daddy, this is what happened. Uh, and and it's, I'm, I'm really going to enjoy this because two of the most important things in America is, is, is reading and math. And, and I just want him to be able to read and comprehend. What do you want to learn in this reading clinic? Mm. Mm. Read. You want to read better? Mm -hmm. We came to the reading clinic because as Ethan's entering kindergarten, we'd like him to enjoy reading and uh, progress uh, with his reading skills along with his classmates. What kind of things do you want to do when you're here? What do you want to learn here? How to read. My name is Rhonda Schaefer and my sons are 15 and 11. Um, we've been coming to the program since my youngest boy was in the first grade and we saw that he was having some problems with reading and decoding. So I found this wonderful program on the website and applied for it and we've been coming ever since. And my, we didn't realize that you also uh, worked with older children and one year my oldest boy was here doing the um, the dinner at the end of the season and he saw that there was a teenager in it and he was like you know mom I think I would get a lot out of it as well so he's been coming for about three years now so it, it's been a wonderful program because both of my boys both have problems with English and writing so this has been a fun program for them and also for me because this was the first program that I've come to that actually has a parent workshop so you guys are allowing me to teach my children in a fun way so thank you well my son is Chandler who uh, came to Towson University spring of 2014 with um, some serious reading comprehension um, issues was failing second grade. Uh, part of it, we trans transitioned from living in New Jersey to state of Maryland, three different schools in one academic year. Uh, failed the first three quarters of second grade. However, um, all his standardized tests proved that he was great level as far as testing, but from a day-to-day -day basis, he was not doing well. Got to the point where he did not like school, could not stand reading, and that was something that we lived in the library in, sec in, in kindergarten, first grade, so he had a love for reading, and then all of a sudden it's just like, I don't wanna read, I can't read, I'm done. So coming here was crucial in trying to get him better 
um, with reading comprehension and studying skills and the love of reading again. So far, we've started, we've been in school, what, five weeks? And he's been maintaining a B average in reading comprehension, B average in science and struggling a little bit with math, but his last exam he received an A on. So future is looking bright again. Thank you for Towson. I credit a lot of it to you all in the program because the teachers just don't have enough time during the day to really give them that one-on-one. -on -one. And with him, he thrives on that one-on-one. -on -one. So having that one-on-one -on -one experience here gives us an opportunity to see what he's liking, what he's strong at, and just that attention for him, someone expressing an interest in his likes and what can we do to help you has really given him the confidence that he needed to regain to move forward. So I recommend this program to everyone. Yes, love it. And that's why we're back again, thank you. Last, but certainly not least, we hear from some of the graduates from our program. What are the roles of these reading specialists today? My name is Mekti Solomon and I graduated from Towson University in 2007. Um, upon graduation, I was fortunate enough to be able to um, obtain a job as a reading specialist working with students in pre-K through fifth grade at um, an independent school called Grace Episcopal Day School in Kensington. Um, I love what I do. I am able to really work one-on-one -on -one with students in the classroom. Um, our program is more of a push-in as opposed to a pull-out program, so um, students are really able to stay in the classroom and I work one-on-one -on -one and also sometimes with small groups. Um, specifically with um, fourth and fifth grade, I work more of a, a book club type of feel to it. Um, and then with the younger kids, it's more of an intervention program. Um, I love, absolutely love, love, love what I do. And I really owe Towson University for that because I felt that after I graduated that I was confident in what I was doing. Um, and really a lot of the professors taught me that reading is such a complex thing to learn and that not one strategy is gonna work for every student. So I appreciated my experience and felt that because of all of the practice that I had through my clinical experience and through my guided reading course, that I felt that I was confident and proficient in my field. The next day, she emailed me and said, the excitement that I see on a child's face the moment they are able to read their first word on their own is priceless. I thank you and everyone at Towson for training me well enough to meet the needs of every student I encounter. I graduated in 2011 and I immediately was able to um, have a position right away in the same school that I already taught at. I, I really did feel prepared. Um, one of the first things I did actually before I even started in the role officially was a lot of those testing, um, a lot of the testing that I was taught to do in, in classes, um, like the QRIs and the IRIs. I did a lot of those even before I was hired. And I really think that kind of gave me the edge too um, as far as when they were trying to choose who was going to fill that position when, when our current reading specialist retired. They had kind of already known that, oh, you know, Tina, knows how to do that and Tina did a good job and, and thanks to Towson I was able to do a good job in those testing um, situations and um, I, I definitely felt prepared. Um, I, I do a variety of things which you know variety of classes are helpful um, so not just the testing that I know um, that I can do now but also the, the co-teaching and the small groups um, that I do on a regular basis the individual students being able to differentiate and individualize for, for certain students that I work with. Um, and I also attend um, our team meetings once a week. So when we meet um, to discuss a child's learning disabilities or the possibility of there being a learning disability, I feel like I have a wealth of knowledge that I can bring to the team. Um, not just my testing results, but also um, you know my expertise that I've I've acquired over the years, but then also what I learned in classes, too. As a reading specialist, I analyze data with the classroom teachers and we determine intervention groups. So then I push into classrooms and meet with students in small groups based on their needs. So 
Um, we determine whether a student is lacking in letter rec, phonemic awareness, phonics, or fluency, and or comprehension, and then I go into classrooms and meet with these students as a double dose of instruction. I love my job because I have the opportunity to work with small groups of students and really meet their needs so they feel successful as readers. I also have the opportunity to co-teach with teachers in the building. It looks like time is up. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Towson University Reading Clinic.